So let's take a look at some impulse problems. If you recall, impulse is simply a change in momentum. And from your previous video, um, we came up with some equations for impulse. And so these are the various equations that we came up with. So we're looking at the various equations here. Again, delta P, that's your impulse. And so here it's simply the final momentum minus the initial momentum. Um, the idea of changing momentum means we change the momentum, and momentum was just mass times velocity. More commonly, we're going to probably look at it in terms of mass times a change in velocity. Um, as was discussed, the idea of the acceleration of the object more so than the change of the object itself. The full impulse momentum equation relationship here was the net force times the time was equal to the mass times the change in velocity. And then that came up with another variation of impulse here of the net force times the time. So with all those we'll kind of look at some examples here, a couple of example problems on how to solve for various parts of impulse. All right, so let's take a look here. Edwin is walking to physics with a momentum of 65 kilograms meters per second when he hears the hawk screech. He then picks up his pace, resulting in a momentum of 195 kilogram meters per second. What impulse did Edwin experience? So we're trying to find the impulse, the change in momentum of Edwin. So we have two different momentums. We have an initial momentum given to us of 65 kilograms meters per second. And we have a final momentum. Here he ends up with a final momentum of 195 kilogram meters per second. So we're trying to find the impulse, our change in momentum, and all we're given are the two momentums, his initial and final momentum. So we'll want to use this equation here based on what we have. So change in momentum equals the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So we'll just plug those in like so and that gives me 195 kilogram meters per second minus 65 kilograms meters per second. So I get a final impulse of 130 kilogram meters per second. So the impulse or change of momentum that Edwin experienced was 130 kilogram meters per second. So we know the impulse that Edwin encountered. We said that was 130 kilogram meters per second. So let's take a look at a little bit more in this situation. So it took Edwin about 0.75 seconds to actually accelerate, in other words, to actually have that momentum um, change take place, to have that impulse. So the question then would be how much force caused that acceleration? So we know the impulse that he experienced. We also know that this impulse occurred in a time of 0.75 seconds. So if I want to find his force, and I'm looking for the net force that happened that caused this acceleration. I can go up in these equations. I have this equation. There's net force in it here. And over here, there's net force in this equation. So I look at the things that I know. I know the change momentum or the impulse, and I know the time. So I'm going to want to use this equation right here because it has the impulse in it and the time. And I can go ahead and solve for the net force. So I'm going to use the impulse equals the net force times the time. So the impulse was 130 kilogram meters per second. And we're looking for the net force. So we don't know that. But we do know the time is 0.75 
seconds. So then I can simply divide this side by 0.75 seconds so these will cancel out one and one and do the same thing to the other side 0.75 seconds and I will get my net force calculate that out and we get 173.3 the unit should be newtons for our force we'll put that there We'll kind of look at it and make sure. So we have here kilogram meters per second. So right over here, kilogram meters per second divided by seconds. So divided by seconds over one. And doing the fraction math, kilogram meters per second times the reciprocal, which gives me one over seconds. That gives me a kilogram meter per second squared. And that is definitely a Newton. So we're right, definitely a Newton. And so Edwin's net force that acted on him to cause him to accelerate and have this impulse of 130 kilogram meters per second was simply 173.3 Newtons.